How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again reporting within the depths of Fathom in here and I uh, just want to give you guys an update on the recent MCC development updates. So if you guys enjoy these kind of news videos please make sure to tap that like button let me know you want to see more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see in the MCC update and if you're new to the channel want to see some more Halo news updates and also stuff like that tap subscribe because we're always doing awesome stuff on this channel. So community manager sketch recently posted an up a development update of the MCC. This is the second one he's posted here. Basically he's just detailing his experiences with the uh, internal builds of this game. Which so it's great to know that it's you know still a work in progress and they're working on it, you know, to try to get it up to par. Which uh, you know definitely if you want to you know get put your feedback in with this game because uh, they are you know the team that's working on the build fixing the MCC is listening in. They really are. They will detail this later on in this up video as well. So uh, in the link down below, you'll be able to go to the MCC feedback forum where you can list out things you'd want to see done with the MCC. Now, uh, wish list has already been put together, but they certainly are listening as well. So in this update video, we're going to be discussing things like the visual enhancements that were coming to the MCC, the UI refresh, uh, flight planning, which so is who's going to be able to play these newer builds of the MCC, numerous networking improvements, and also a flash Q&A at the end of this video as well to kind of get a whole bunch of information out at once. So reading the update, one big thing I was actually really happy to see was that they're allowing incremental updates or downloads. So basically what you're going to have to do is uh, download a base level of the MCC, probably just like the UI and just the glue that holds all these games together. And so then what you're able to do is actually just uh, install certain games that you want to play. So rather than downloading the entirety of the MCC, you can download just Halo 3 or just Halo 2. Now how it works in with multiplayer, it's not mentioned in this update. Uh, though I'm assuming if you're going to be playing multiplayer, though this should be able to work with multiplayer as well with uh, discussing later on what the uh, playlist fixing is going to be happening, happening with this game as well. The Xbox One enhancements are still underway, so 4K 60fps is still being worked on with this, so there we go. And uh, a new matchmaking change with MC has happened, which I think is kind of a no-brainer that should have been in the first place, but whatever, it's called continuous matchmaking. Basically, they're just bringing back the old matchmaking style of the previous Halos, where basically after a game, you get to see a carnage report, carnage report, but then you're not thrown back out into the UI main menu and have to search again. The game will just continually keep having you search for a new game. Probably along the same lines as say like Halo 5, or maybe even like Halo Reach, Halo 3 kind of times. That's what I would like to see. They didn't mention anything about maintaining the party. They just said that you'll be able to see a crunch report and then it just throws you into another game. So I'm assuming like Halo 5. And so then uh, they're also mentioning that they're removing the vote function for the MCC because apparently the big issue was that a lot of people just wanted to play Halo 3. So every time Halo 3 came up as an option to vote for, well, every time you're just basically playing Halo 3. So which, I mean, understandably Halo 3 is amazing, but uh, you know, Halo 2, Halo CE are also amazing as well. But uh, later on in this update and in this video, we'll discuss why they're making those changes. Uh, so then they go, continuing on, they're talking about flighting. So basically how they got you know, hand out these uh, early builds of the MCC to others. So basically they're saying that it's a really big complex thing, a lot of things to take into consideration. Basically, uh, the big th whole thing is they basically have to be either part of the community feedback program or the uh, Xbox Insider program, uh, which I'm assigned up on both. So hopefully I get in in involved with the early builds. If I do, I certainly will share my experiences on this channel, guys. Uh, so those are the two main ways to get into that. I'll leave links in the description down below to get involved with those. They're quick and easy to sign up for. I highly suggest doing it. So now, this is the feature wish list that's gonna be coming for the MCC. These are, uh, and I'll quote this saying, this does not mean we're <laughs> committing to X, Y, and Z new features absolutely not so these are not things that are going to be put into the mcc but they are things that are on the radar because the community has asked for these so those so uh some of the big things are uh custom game browser we have uh mc uh, halo reach being added to the mcc uh we have additional expanded spartan customization halo 3 odst firefight ui slash menu refresh a uh, new XP ranking progression system, just basically reworked the whole thing right there. Uh, file share and file browser, 
uh, add Halo 4 missing content, and then finally the party up system. Now again, these are just a wish list of things uh, that the basically the big, the best hits of what the community has been asking for, and I cannot agree with that any more than I would love to see all that on the list. And so uh, in the rapid fire, we do discuss over uh, through sketch just talk about in the, these rapid fire questions about uh, whether that these are going to happen or not. Again, everything else in the wish list, not committed to it at all, but they're just letting you know they see it. That's the main thing you keep in consideration there. So now we're into the rapid fire Q and A here. So I'm just gonna throw a bunch of questions out here, read them off, and then I'll uh, give you the short and quick to them. If you want the full detailed description of all the questions, just click the link down below in the description. I know just a lot of links in the description, but it'll take you to the post and you'll be able to read up exactly what they're being said. But I'm paraphrasing and just giving the short quick on it. So first question, will MCC ever come to the PC? Basically, no. Uh, if not for a long time, so not on the radar anytime soon. Uh, MCC added to the Xbox Game Pass. No, not right now, but maybe in the future, we'll see. Not on the radar. ODST, uh, Firefight, and Halo Reach being added to the MCC? No, but 343 sees how much people want this, so that if uh, down the road, if it's a possibility, it could happen for sure. Uh, which I feel like would kind of break what the MCC, the Master Chief Collection, Added in ODST and Reach, even though I'd love to see it in there, it doesn't really fit in with like the name of the game, but hey, whatever. At this point, it's whatever, you know. Uh, custom server browser, is it going to be added in? Actually, yes. Uh, maybe with, even with the initial update, maybe not, but it's going to happen for the MCC, which I'm super excited about. I love the custom server browser. I just really hope it's not as laggy and buggy and you know slow as the Halo 5 version is. Uh, join in progress for custom games. Yes, that's going to happen. Uh, emblem system fixing. Like, are you gonna be able to, you know, make it like how it used to be? Uh, no, but maybe in the future. Um, what are plans for MCC playlists and voting? Well, basically, what they said is that they're going to limit the playlist to a single game, and then remove voting. So uh, they're saying like, if you're, you'll jump into Halo 3 or Halo 2 or like a Halo 1 playlist, and you'd just be playing that game, which I think is probably the best way to go about things. Though, personally, I would like to kind of jump around, you know, between games, but that's just me. Uh, I do agree with this, because a lot of people had a big issue of people voting for just Halo 3, or people, you know, dropping out of a game because it's not the game that they wanted to play. So I think this is probably the best way to go about doing this right here. Um, update to the UI. Yes, they're refreshing the UI. They're going to try to streamline it and make it also easier to find your friends within the UI and play with them because right now the UI for finding friends is really just so complicated and backwards. It doesn't make any sense really. Is there going to be offline LAN support? Yes, that is coming to the Halo MCC. And uh, MCC, and there could be MCC updates beyond just this big massive one that they're working on. Yes, uh, but they're initially just working on this big massive patch to make sure the game functions. And so then when people get to play it, the UI is good and you know, it actually functions the way it's supposed to. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much the whole update of this video. I will keep you up to date on anything that happens with MCD. I'm looking forward to this. I, I really would love to see more content put in the game. I think that's what would really bring people back to this, uh, for, 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 to this game in particular. Uh, again, check out the links in the description for the full update and links to signing up for the Halo Community Update program and Xbox Insider program as well if you want to get a chance to play these early builds of the MCC. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button, it really helps out this video get some no more notoriety so more people can understand what the development process of the MCC. Leave a comment down below what you guys saw about the uh, updates that are going to be coming to the MCC and what you would like to see added to the MCC. And if you want to stay up to date with all the new stuff with Halo, anything Halo, anything MCC, and just general gameplays and live streams, well then click subscribe because we're going to be doing that all the time on this channel. But anyways guys, thank you so much, so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.